Next stage, system panic. What can you see beyond the darkness? You know what I can see beyond the darkness? A fucking bullshit mission is what I can see. Oh boy. So here we are, come to save the world. The Tackle McCain factory. Does the CIA own this building? Or the Mafia? Either way, our only choice is to see this to the end. That's the place? No doubt about it. They disguised it well, but I can see venting ducts far beyond the standard requirements. What about the security system? I've done my homework, don't worry. As long as the targets are destroyed in the correct order and within the time limit, then there won't be a problem. That part is up to you, boss. We don't have long. Let's get started. Why do subtitle, subtitles have the fucking brackets? Like, you don't need brackets. Like, they're talking. You don't need brackets. I was totally confused, but whatever. You, you, whatever. You fucking read it. I don't fucking, I don't fucking know. This mission took me... This mission took me so many goddamn attempts that you better be, a, you know, you better appreciate. I hacked into the security system's computer. Take them all out in the time limit. So yeah, you better goddamn appreciate the fact that I'm doing a post commentary and not live commentary because I That's cut out next. like six minutes of failure. I had to redo this mission like I don't fucking know three, four times. Which doesn't sound a lot, except if you look at a timer, right? Like, it's two fucking minutes and... It's basically three minutes. You're given three minutes to take out all these goddamn fucking, you know, cameras. The time limit is not the problem here. The problem is the bullets and how finicky the point... What? Like, look at that. Look at that. How is that a mess? The, their quote-unquote weak point is their lenses. And sometimes... It's just bullshit that it doesn't count. It makes no sense. They're fucking security cameras. They don't have quote-unquote weak points. They're security cameras. You just shoot them. They... they with, fuck, fuck, fuck. Like, the bull... Like... This game just defies laws of physics, right? If you shoot a goddamn sniper bullet through a goddamn camera, that camera is fucking toast. The fucking electronics are fucking toast. Nobody makes a bulletproof fucking goddamn cameras, and even if they did, the fucking material would still bend, and it would still damage the goddamn fucking electronic parts. What's wrong? Like, look at this bullshit. So basically, what happens is like you have to take all these goddamn cameras, and you know how in the cutscene Stanley says you have to take them out in a specific order and time limit. That's not the case. There is no specific order. I think there might have been a specific order planned initially, and then during playtesting or something, they realized, whoops, it's impossible to fucking complete the mission. So they got rid of the fucking specific order garbage. You still have the time limit, whatever, whatever who gives a shit? You're gonna, if you keep missing these cameras, or quote unquote missing, even though you clearly hit them, uh, the fucking, you're, you're gonna run out of bullets. So I had to replay this goddamn mission three to four times. Do I sound salty? Because I'm pretty fucking salty about this. This mission is fucking horseshit. I would argue... I don't know what's more difficult, this or the club mission. The club mission is bullshit because of RNG and the fact that you have no idea how the target looks. But this mission is, like, actually difficult. And it's the only... I mean, this and the tower mission and the club missions are the only difficult missions in the entire game. Like, you saw how easy the first couple levels were, then we suddenly ramp up to difficulty and I get grading C, as in fucking fuck you. God, it's got a mission. Anyway, we, we, we can move on now. Alright, that takes out their security. Wow, what a secure place. Thanks to you. Oh, stop that, boss. You're embarrassing me. I, I told you, stop calling me boss. Yep, just, just roll the credits. It's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. It's fucking fine. It's fine. Just don't worry about it. Now we're probably gonna play the intro again. Cause why not? Next stage, my friend. What can you see beyond the darkness? 
Yep, here's the intro. My friend. You've done well to get this far. What are you doing here? I've had a change of heart. Quick! Give us the antidote! Now! Well, tell us where you're hidden it! I see. So that's the line she fed you. I don't have it. Huh? Don't tell me you don't. Oh no! Whoa, oh, the subtitles are way out of sync. So it's our fate just to die? This antidote that you're searching for, it never existed in the first place. <gasps> you're lying. You have to be infected as well. CA! You're right. All of us here breathed in Tackle McCann gas. And the younger the victim, the faster the Tackle McCann acts. However, she's still fine. Now, how could that be? She has some kind of Tackle McCann resistance? Antibodies? She was used in government experiments. Her DNA has been altered, adapted and the DNA for Taco McCann antibodies added to her system. Genetic what? manipulation, huh? So that has something to do with her having Claire's memories. I don't know the details. Whilst I personally don't believe it, it may be that CA is under the influence of the residual memories of your murdered girlfriend, Claire. This is crazy. Claire's DNA was used in CA? Memories from genetic material? Assassin's Creed? Well, anyway, I was saved by a serum created from her blood. She has the remainder of the serum. You can take her back now. The family lost everything. They planned on spreading the virus and hoarding the vaccine. But now, they don't know where the vaccine is. In fact, only a few CIA members do. Including Abby? They're about to get serious. They're planning on using a missile with Tackle McCain warhead. There's a launch pad beyond that building. At this rate, the entire city is on the fast track to hell. Why? Why did you suddenly decide to tell us all this? I told you, I had a change of heart. Now get away from here. Harry, I'm... We'll talk later. Now go. Okay. C.A., let's move. Okay. <laughs> no, the black guy always dies first. Stanley! Man, those so fucking, fucking subtitles are Where's so Where's the off. shooter? Stanley Skiller, take out enemy sniper. So this mission is um kind of shit because every single time I played it, it seems like like look at the timer. You're given three minutes. It seems like nothing happens for the first minute or two. So you're just kind of looking for the enemy sniper, and you're like, okay, so mm -hmm, yeah, you know, let's 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 look at yeah. I I don't see the sniper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the sniper's on the roof, eh? Mm, mm, okay. Yep. Yep. Don't, don't, don't see him. Don't, don't. I, I, don't, I don't see him. The, the times, you know, the clock's ticking. I don't see him. So maybe I should just, I don't know, move to a different spot. Maybe that will. Nope. Nope. Still don't see him. And uh, yeah, it seems completely RNG when the sniper actually appears. And every single time I've been in this mission, which is like, I don't know, three times. Um. The, there's literally nothing happening for the first minute, like ever. 
and you're just kind of awkwardly waiting for the sniper to show up, and at some point it just randomly shows up. I don't know who made this, like who designed this mission or who programmed this mission, but uh, I think this shouldn't have gone past the testing. I don't know about you guys, but you know, I don't know. I'm biased, you know. It's my opinion. Chill. All you, the sniper two defenders who will defend this game, which is literally all none of you. So yeah, genetic. Like, what the fuck is going on with this? So, so yeah, just you know, shoot a random bullet because maybe, maybe um, it'll attract the sniper, but it doesn't. So it counts as a miss. Okay, fine. Oh well. So what the hell is going on with this game's story? Genetic memories, Assassin's Creed style. This game came out 2004, so that's before Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed came out in 2006. <gasps> Did Ubisoft rip off the sniper? No, no, they didn't. Trust me, they didn't. No, nobody even. I, I didn't even know this game existed up until like a couple of weeks ago, so I don't I don't think anyone at fucking Ubisoft knew that this game exists. Because why would they? They make good games. I mean, kind of mainstream and you know, sometimes. Eh. But anyway, so just just awkwardly waiting for the sniper to show up. I'm I'm sure he's gonna show show up at some point. Probably, maybe. I don't I don't fucking know. I'm just oh there he is. So I'm he ran past behind that. Thing, I don't, I don't fucking know how that thing is called. The, oh, there you go. Oh, shit, there is. Can I? Yeah. Oh, nice. That hit him. Nice. That that fucking death yell will never get old. I love it. I fucking love it. Not as much as this amazing soundtrack. You know, the the, the one that has like five tracks and keeps looping over and over again and is overused to fucking hell. But you know, I still kind kind of like it. Grading C. Listen to this emotional music. Hey boss, I don't think. <laughs> don't talk. Save your strength. I, I will need my strength. Much longer. I have to. <coughs> I have to save this. What? I can't hear you over the music. I seriously can't hear these guys over the sky music. I mean, I can kind of hear them, but the sound is like shit. The timing was just too perfect. So you saw a raccoon. I was investigating Abby. Top secret. She was making some suspicious movements within the age. What a nice suiting music for a scene that I guess is supposed to be emotional. I don't fucking no. Guess I was guided by fate. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you got that right, boss. Don't call me boss. And Gabriel showing up. That was unexpected. For both me and Abby. You still have a duty to save the world. There is a missile alongside beyond the factory. <laughs> yeah, I promise. Hey, Stan. Hey. No! <laughs> Harry. I failed. Failed to protect someone. Again. Harry! They're going to pay for this. So, I don't know what adds more to this emotional cutscene. Um, the terrible voice acting? Comic fucking sans for font choice? The terrible, abysmal sound mixing that makes the amazing music so much louder than their bloody dialogue? Or is it the music itself? 
that sounds super casual and jazzy for a cutscene that's supposed to be emotional. Or maybe the fact that, you know, the Stanley's 3D model was not changed in any goddamn way, so there was no bullet wound or blood or anything like that, because... Because 3D modeling is hard, you guys. Making video games is hard, I mean, it actually is. But just the fact that it didn't, didn't fucking put any effort to even, like, overlay a texture over his body or anything, like, just, come on, guys, man, come on. So, yeah. Oh, God. Next stage, Melody of Revenge. What can you see beyond the darkness? So, I, I'm just gonna quickly go back to main menu and check if there's really no way to turn down the music, because, yeah, the sound mixing, not great, not great. And as you can see, there is no way. The sound test just plays the amazing fucking music tracks for your enjoyment. I don't exactly know how that counts as a sound test, but okay. So yeah, you can choose between stereo and mono, but no, there's no volume sliders, you can't pick the goddamn, you know, music volume and versus voice volume and all that shit. That was, uh, unfortunate. Yeah. A guy died! Stanley, his name was, right? He was so casual about it. CA, you better take this. We can communicate using this. I have my own. And I've aligned the channels. How convenient. Okay. Time to strike back. Use the outside stairs and head up to the roof. Take out the missile launch device. I'll head in and finish the job. Close up. What? What? What are you thinking? I can hardly see anymore. Huh? <laughs> Man, this Old fucking dialogue. I can't fight at long distance. All right, then. Again, why so Harry. casual? You're going whatever I say, aren't you? Someone has to. And to get the job done right, that someone has to be me. We need you at long range. But... C.A., you hide here. I'm not hiding. I can at least back you up. Ready? Go! No, why would you jump? You can just climb down safely. Why would you jump? Aim for the weak spot and destroy the missile launch device. So we're given no photograph, you know, as if the, the photographs they gave us were any helpful in previous couple of missions. Remember that mission at Cloud where they show the back of your target so you can't even distinguish him from regu regu regular civilians? Yeah, lack of photo photograph doesn't really seem like that big of a deal. The device has started working. Oh no, where is, where is the device? Oh, there, there it is. Quickly, shoot, shoot it. Oops, I missed. Oops, I missed again. Oh, rip in pepperoni world. I mean, given how casual they were about uh, Stanley's death, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the character's attitude towards rip in pepperoni world. Too early for the celebrations. Even with the launch device gone, there is still a warhead loaded with Takamakan and explosives down there. We're not safe until it's disabled, and Gabriel is out of contact.
Okay, just just roll the credits again. That's fine. Saving that game. An exciting commentary. Last stage to assassinate the devil. What will you see at the end of the nightmare? I don't like why assassinate a devil. What? Why is this called Bullet of Nightmare anyway? I don't understand. Like, it's not called Bullet of Nightmare in fucking, you know, Europe, but I don't understand the title. Hey. The warhead on this missile is loaded with Tackle McCann. Then let's get it out of there. Damn. If only Stanley were here. Gabriel. Tell me, how did you end up betraying the CIA? I was threatened. Cindy Miller, a woman on the same team as me in the CIA, was investigating Robert Bernaldi. She ended up kidnapped by the Bernaldi family. That's terrible. So she was their hostage. Did you love her? You're listening in, are you? Well, she was. Who? Robert? What can he hope to protect by going this far? His position? His power? His money? Well, he won't need any of those where I'm sending him. His position? His power? His money? Like, what? what is all with his goddamn line reads, man? The target is Mafia boss Robert Bernaldi. Save CIA. Like, I'm better voice acting than these guys. Hire me, best media or media interactive, whoever did the localization. Hire me! I can do the good voice acting for you guys. I can even do the bad voice acting for you. Aw oh man, this this music track never gets old. By which I mean I'm already fucking sick of it. Okay, where's the oh there it is. There's the target. Look at him strutting. Look at him running away. Run boy! Oh no, you'll never escape. You'll never escape it. Aiming this is actually a real pain in the ass. And I think one thing I haven't explained as well as I could have is the controls. So basically, when you're moving, you, you move the character with D-pad, you can't move the character with the right uh, or left analog sticks. You look up and down by pressing L1 and L2, and you press square to start using scope, at which point you can now move the scope around with the analog sticks and you zoom in and zoom out with circle and X respectively. Like, the, the movement is the most awkward thing actually, because like you're moving with fucking D-pad and to look up and down you have to use R1 and L... or L1 and uh, L1... L1 and L2, like it's just so awkward. So there we go, I hit him. Yay! I assassinated the devil, who's like just the mafiosi. Why? Is oh my god! The camera, I guess, clipped through the ground and just enjoy that ground texture covering up the target, grating D. Cause fuck you. I don't. I don't fucking. I don't know. Did you get him? Yes. I finished dismantling the missile as well. So. It really is over. Not quite. Huh? Hey, where are you going? You haven't worked it out yet, have you? I'm just going back for something. We never saw Gabriel again. Well, that's anticlimactic. Wait, really? Wait, that what? What? That's the ending. We never saw Gabriel again, and that's it. That's the ending. There you go. That's that's the ending. This is the proper. Like, notice how this is different credits. You know, scroll. Like, this is like a really nice, fancy credit scroll, as opposed to a shitty credits thing on a blue background. What? Why? And honestly, this shouldn't even be called Credit Score, this should be called Wall of Shame. Look at all these names. Look at all these people who 
who worked hard on, on this game. They did their best and they didn't give up and all other garbage and oh hey hey here's the voice actors. Stanley was voiced by Stefan Ashton Frank. Gabriel was also voiced by the same guy. Which explains how those two guys have the worst voice acting of them all. Oh. oh. Yeah. I mean, this is a lovely credit sequence, but yeah, that's the end of the game! It only took us, uh, what, one hour and like ten minutes? I mean, granted, I edited out like six minutes. Like, I... The total recording thing was like one hour thirty-four minutes, I edited out like fourteen minutes, so it's like one hour twenty now. Because, uh, you know, repeated attempts and all that shit, but that's with cutscenes. Without cutscenes, you can beat this game in half an hour. Not even joking, half an hour for this game. If you skip all the cutscenes. I mean, why would you want to skip the cutscene? I don't know, because, like, it's, it's such a good story, right? Like, the music adds to the experience and such a heartfelt... I'm being facetious, by the way. I'm, I'm, the story is garbage. I don't know... I, I don't fucking understand. A, a, anyway, so, yeah, you can see that... Ooh, there's branching pathways. If you get A plus or better than that on missions, you get... Two alternate missions, and I guess a different ending, I don't fucking know. I've never gotten those awesome ratings, and I'm not gonna try. You you are feel free. I feel free to go and buy this game and try it for yourself. I mean, I wouldn't want to... I'm not here to spoil the entirety of The Sniper 2. I'm only to... I'm only here to inform the general populace of... of this game and its craft. No, but seriously, it's only like three pounds on a European PSN store. I don't think I don't think North American PSN store has it, but European PSN store definitely has this game. It's a PS2 classic. It's only three pounds. It's fucking fantastic. It has Comic Sans as subtitles. It's an amazing game. Go and fucking buy it. I'm not even joking. Go and buy it. Bye.